Hi everybody, um, my name is Salmon and I am a designer. I work for Mapbox. Um, I worked on ID and I've made a few small contrib contributions to the current OpenStreetMap.org website. Um, and I'm, I've mostly been involved in the project through Mapbox, but I've fallen in love with it and I really want OpenStreetMap to be as good as it possibly can. Um, louder, okay, and one, one thing I can do to help is like, uh, is, is think about the design on OpenStreetMap.org. And so I'm going to give a talk today um, going over some work I've been doing rethinking the OpenStreetMap website. Um, so I'm going to present a ground up redesign of OpenStreetMap.org kind of as, a, as an experiment, as an opportunity to, to rethink what OpenStreetMap.org is and what it should be um, and how we can make it better. Um, and I know there have been a lot of redesign proposals to OpenStreetMap.org over the years, um, but I do feel like nothing's quite like fixed some of the problems with OpenStreetMap. Um, and so, yeah, this is an exercise in solving some of the fundamental design problems that have been around for a long time and are still not solved. And then three main problems that I'm going to identify and then propose solutions for are um, like poor information architecture due to the fact that this website kind of grew organically with a lot of, a lot of deliberate design thinking, um, a bad onboarding experience for, for newbies, um, and then it's not social enough. So <clears throat> yeah, so I'm going to do here is present a vision. It's, I'm, uh, there are a lot of details I'm sure I'm missing and a lot of things that are impractical right now, but the important thing is to kind of rethink from the ground up what OpenStreetMap.org is and, and what it could be someday. Um, yeah, and something that we can work towards uh, starting like tomorrow or right after this session. I think there are things we can pull away from this um, and, and start implementing on the current OpenStreetMap website that would help right away. Um, and so in preparing for this talk, I, I did a lot of research, spent, spent more time on the website, and, and did a lot of reading. Um, a lot of people have put forward ideas for what OpenStreetMap should be. And, and generally, there's a lot of agreement. Um, so Kate Chapman, Andy Allen, Tom Hughes, Mikel, Marin, Steve Coast, and more. Um, and there's constant like uh, email mess, uh, discussions about the OpenStreetMap website. Um, and so I'm hoping to uh, do all of those people justice with, with these redesigns. So first of all, um, OpenStreetMap.org needs more appropriate information architecture and content and hierarchy. Um, so let's look at the website right now. We have, <coughs> we have this left toolbar with a bunch of links, um, and there are these little tabs on the top here, and there's kind of like map functions in all of the four corners. Um, and OK, sorry. Yeah. So anyways, I'm just kind of going over the anatomy of the current website. And then we have like kind of map controls overlaid on the map. Mostly what you're seeing is a map. It kind of looks a little bit like Wikipedia. There are links on the side here that all kind of go to different places and don't have a lot in common with each other. And then there's these things that are kind of like tabs on top. Um, OK, I'm, let's just uh, blow it up uh, and start from scratch. Uh, this, is, this is what I came up with for OpenStreetMap.org. Um, I'm going to go into detail more soon, but like, have a look right now. Uh, there are a lot of details here that I'll, that I'll talk about. Um, it's basically totally rethought. Um, and guided not so much by features or by what we can do, but by um, what people want to be doing with OpenStreetMap.org. Um, because design is how it works, not just how it looks. Um, and things should be in a place for a reason. Um, the, the website's not bad, but there's just not a cohesive design system in place. Um, someone hasn't, hasn't thought through this enough yet. Um, and this leads to a lot of unproductive design debates about you know where to put the map key, where to put the new marker link, like like peop, you know like is it on the left or on the right? Like like it doesn't really matter because there's just not a system in place that 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 makes for a cohesive website. And so so we go in circles and have these unproductive conversations about about the OpenStreetMap website. Um, and like I said, it kind of feels inspired by Wikipedia, but I think this is a horrible model. It, it doesn't make any sense. Uh, Wikipedia is text. It should be text. The internet is kind of made for websites like Wikipedia. It should just be a bunch of links. Um, and OpenStreetMap is kind of a map. That's not really what it is, though. Uh, what is OpenStreetMap? I think it's three things. Uh, it is a map for naviga navigating and place finding. It's an application for improving that map. And it's the home for a community of mappers. Um, and these three functions should be the most important parts of the website. Um, three tabs, three overlays on top of a map. Um, and the secondary functions, it's a data resource for people who want to use the data. 
Um, it's a tool for inspecting the data and, and um, fixing it and, and maintaining it. And it's also the home page for an organization that has um, you know, the, the license information and about information and stuff like that. And so these are kind of secondary um, and also should be accessible. Um, and so, yeah, one of the like, fundamental things I'm doing here is grouping related functions. We have our primary functions, our secondary functions, the map, map controls, and then our content overlay, which changes based on what mode you're in on the website. Um, and some of the details here, um, and yeah, and like just being deliberate about design from the beginning makes things understandable and easy to use um, automatically. Uh, not just adding features, but thinking about what things do and what users want to do. Um, first of all, let's, <coughs> let's have a really flexible way of, of providing announcements for users. There's a checkbox here. I can close this. Um, there's a big support OSM button that's there when you want it to be and gone when you don't want it. Um, the map layers can communicate what OpenStreetMap is uh, through copy. Like o OSM provides underlying data for all these maps, and you can change the map layers. Um, this automatically is, is, is helping users understand what OpenStreetMap is. Um, uh, 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 kind of taking a lot of these conversations about how to share the map, the permalink, the marker, and turning it into one straightforward flow. Um, you, can, you can copy a share link to the map or at share with a marker. It's all one button. It's, we don't need three buttons on the map to do this. Um, second problem, OpenStreetMap needs a better onboarding experience. Um, when you go to the website, it's not immediately clear what it is. You see a big map, you kind of feel like maybe it's a little bit like Google Maps, maybe it's a little bit like Wikipedia, but it's not really clear. Um, we've already looked at it. I don't think we need to look at it. Um, the the sign-up process has usability problems, um, like, like, for example, poor form design, lack of built-in instructions for, for newbies. Um, and then there's not like a differentiation between off-site links and on-site links, which can be really confusing and scary for new users. Um, yeah, and so like I said, if we just start, like kind of the information architecture and content hierarchy changes will already make the site, make the site easier to use um, and like more understandable for newbies. Um, so yeah, let's, this is what users should see when they first go to the website. A big action button. Um, this takes you to um, a, a user account page, again, with a clear action button that's, that's um, consistent. <coughs> um, and let's provide an introduction to the project for new users. Um, right now, after you sign up, you're just sent back to the home page. Um, and, and Tom McWright wrote uh, like a really great one-page introduction to the OpenStreetMap uh, uh, project that I think should be integrated into the site itself. Um, uh, yeah, this is a, it's welcome OSM. It's an OSM lab project. Uh, like other little things like, like tool tips go a long way in, in just making things easier to understand from the get-go. Um, a new help landing page that explicitly explains what the different um, uh, help resources do and, and why you should go there. Not just uh, blue links on a, in a sidebar. Um, I don't have a mock-up for that. But third third uh, major problem with OpenStreetMap, it doesn't do enough to connect mappers. Um, let's look at my friend Alex. It's mostly a blank page. He's my friend. Uh, I should, I should, this page should feel alive. If I look closely, I do see like this little line of links here. There's a lot going on on this page behind this tiny bar of links. Uh, and I think that's a problem. So what's a, what's a better model for a social website that exposes friends and groups, let you connect to, to a broader network, um, shows off popularity and activity, and feels alive? Here's my friend Alex, again, right? Like, I go here, there's a lot going on. I can interact with him, I can comment. It's great, this is, this is a good website. Um, even better model, I don't know if you guys use Strava. Um, it's a social network based around exercise, uh, designed to incentivize activity, um, and it opens with an activity summary, which this is about bragging and status, so being able to show off right away who you are and what you've done and why you're better than other people. After that, there's an activity feed, which allows people to, to give you advice and, and encouragement. Um, and let's look at my friend Alex again. Right away, he's got like, he's got medals, you know? He's, he's like a, there's a bunch of graphs. He's really impressive. I can comment, you know? I can, I can, I can like, we can, we can talk back and forth. Uh, so let's replace exercise with mapping. Uh, I think we can get really far. So this here is a concept for what the, the my friend's user profile page could look like in OpenStreetMap. 
um, and, and uh, in a lot of ways inspired by Strava. So we have uh, kind of a dashboard, a user overview dashboard, where Alex can compare his activity to other people's activity, um, like simple kind of gamification. This is just like a concept for a, like a single track mapper level, maybe based on the number of edits he's made or something like that. But this, this is something that could be expanded. Um, it shows where he's mapping. So you can go to a profile page like this and um, find people in a country if you're traveling or if you're doing humanitarian work uh, somewhere. Um, and then below that, we have a, this new concept for a combined activity feed. I'll get into that a little bit more soon. Um, you can find friends and groups and expand your network through other people's profiles, which is something that you can't do right now on the OpenStreetMap website. Um, you know, this is like just, this is functionality that already exists, but it's, it's still there. Um, so here is Alex's profile on how did you contribute to OpenStreetMap, which is a project by Pascal Nice that um, kind of summarizes every, everyone's profiles and has, has the top countries that they've mapped in and kind of what they've done on, in the OpenStreetMap project, which is really cool. And this is mostly what my um, little activity summary is based on. Um, right here, yeah. <coughs> um, so like there's a, there's a chart to compare yourself to other users. Um, and then now the, the, the combined activity feed. And I see these links here as filters on a single feed. Kind of like on Facebook, you can, you can filter your feed to only show certain things. So if I only want to look at his diary entries, I can do it right here on this page. There's not a separate diary page or a separate edits page. Um, we, can all, we can put that all in one place and use filtering to, to, to focus what we want to look at. Um, so it gets rid of the user edits page. Um, and now, so if I want to inspect an edit, I can actually do this on this page right now. Uh, so I've, I've kind of like hacked together. This is, these are all fake. Like these are like PNGs on top of each other. But uh, uh oh, that's not right. Oh, I'm missing an image. OK, anyway, so the idea here is like I could hover over one of these change sets. Uh, and it would, it would highlight if I clicked it. Um, then I would, I would actually jump the map over to that location. It would be highlighted, and I would get in more details about that change set on the page, but my top image isn't loading right now. That's okay, hopefully. Um, so, so this is kind of like the, the user activity page that exists right now. Um, same idea. Uh, and also, this is, this is the, the design of this is based on the OWL project, which is something that I worked on with uh, a few other um, people a few months ago, um, and this is, is pretty cool. Uh, okay, anyways. So yeah, like I said, like one thing about kind of build, think, thinking of the site as, as overlays on top of a map is you can do stuff like that. Because, uh, <coughs> I mean, everything here is about the map. Uh, so I think it should, it should be a map most of the time. Um, and I also, I mocked up a, a community landing page. So this is the first page you see if you, if you click on the community tab. Um, this would be a combined feed of all of the activity. We don't need a separate diary page anymore because you go to this page and you filter by diary and you see, see people's posts. Um, this, is, this solves the problem of where to put the marker tab. It shouldn't go under layers. You go to the community page and this, this is where all the activity is and then you see people's notes on the map here. And you can filter to only show notes if you want. Um, and same kind of filtering here, just, just show edits, notes, or diary. Um, and, and what we have here are a few chain sets. We have a note. We have a blog post. Um, this is just a, a little sketch of the kind of stuff that would, that would show up in the, in the feed. Um, yeah, and so it replaces a bunch of pages and, and turns them all into one, one single feed. Also, we, we should be able to filter by what type of user. Uh, only show your friends' activity. Maybe that's even the default state. You know, that's what Facebook does. You only see activity by your friends. And maybe that's what's most interesting. Uh, otherwise, you can, you can look at um, edits made in your current map view by, by, by filtering to local, or see edits everywhere if you, if you leave, leave things on, on global. Um, so this is, I've only mocked up a few pages right now. Uh, so that's pretty much everything I have. But I, I'm, there's a lot more to do. You know, think about how groups could work. Concept, uh, like a, a user kind of experience for creating groups and joining groups. Um, uh, rethink what history is. Treat this kind of like as a, as a data maintenance tool for power users, people who are more experienced. Um, and, and again, part of that would be rethinking the change set node and wait pages. Um, 
integrating the editor more tightly into OpenStreetMap.org, having these two things share a really close um, like visual style. And so when you're in the editor, it actually still feels like you're, you're just on OpenStreetMap. They're the same thing. Um, and then like rethinking how using the OpenStreetMap data works, because right now it's really broken. Um, and then a friendlier default map style, which is a lot easier said than done, I know. And, and people are constantly arguing about this. And I'm not an expert here, but I think it, it could help. Um, and so where can we start? Uh, I know this is, I, I'm sure this, those of you who are more experienced with OpenStreetMap are looking at some of these mock-ups and thinking like this stuff's impossible. Because uh, a lot of it might be impossible. But uh, I think there are some clear next actions we can take with the current OpenStreetMap website, um, like in starting right away. First of all, improving the registration flow. This is easy. You know, we, we make an, a, a clear action button for signing up on the front page. Um, make the forms a little bit better. Make the 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 um, the the buttons the button styles clearer and more prominent. Um, and bring in that 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 welcome page to to OpenStreetMap.org itself. <clears throat> Secondly, reorganize the map tools. Take them from all four corners and, and just put them together in a little bit more of an organized way. Um, and then surface user activity. This doesn't mean we have a filterable activity feed. It, it could just mean we were pulling some of the blog posts and some of the user edits onto that landing page that right now looks really empty. Um, you can check out my source of SVG, which right now is really messy because I was kind of frantically throwing together this, uh, this presentation, but I'll clean that up. Um, it's available. Otherwise, if you have feedback or questions or you know, whatever. I'm on, I'm on Twitter, and that would be a good way to, to get, in, get in, in touch with me. Um, yeah, that's it. Uh, yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think you have a good point. Well, I would say that uh, I designed the Mapbox website. You know, I've designed most of the Mapbox stuff, so it's probably my aesthetic more than Mapbox's aesthetic. <laughs> uh, <laughs> um, so yeah, I don't know how to solve that problem. You know, may maybe we need to add some textures or something like that. But but for the most part, like this is me throwing something together, like to 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 prototype and concept like the the, the UI here. Um, I'm not thinking too much about style. So if that's a concern, that's something that we can solve. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah. Nope, that's super easy, yeah. That, that will, it would, if I were to design this website, it would work on your phone. Yeah. <coughs> uh, yeah, I mean, of course it would have to be a group thing, you know, like, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't know. Yeah, I just did it, so we'll see. I'm, I'm hoping to, to talk to people about it and, and see what we can do, yeah. Huh? Yeah, yeah, right, exactly. What time is it? What? Uh, it's tomorrow during lunchtime, yeah, so. Uh, there's a, there's a, a boff tomorrow during lunchtime about the design of OpenStreetMap.org, so that's when we'll have a conversation about this. Uh, yeah. What do you mean by KOM? I don't. Oh, I I don't know. Yeah, like there's a lot you could do with gamification for sure. Um, I don't know. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Um, yeah, I think you have a good point. I think when you when you first see the OpenStreetMap website, it feels a little outdated, um, and like I said, it feels like some sort of weird thing that's related to to Wikipedia, but also kind of related to 
all the other map sites we're familiar with. And so doing something more distinct would be good. And I literally drew that logo in like 20 minutes. So I mean, I'm not thinking about branding here. So yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, of my dream as a designer is like wanting everything to be united into some sort of very, very like uh, logical system. So yeah, I could see ID and something I'm doing here being really closely aligned. Like maybe we're just reconfiguring how that how that right um, like map toolbar looks and using the left sidebar for the ID interface or something like that. I totally could see that happening. Uh, yeah. Yep, um, I think maybe that's me being presumptuous, but uh, I would love to see ID as the default editor, and that's the that's the editor that uh, I think the website could be closely related to. Yeah. yeah. Right. 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 Well, I think yeah, you should redesign the website. Um, I think that the current site's really modular, and that's actually a, a big benefit to it. It's it's really the the CSS is super minimal. It's easy to make changes, and that's a big advantage. But at a certain point, like you, we need to think about this as a as a as a project with a website that that um, is easy to use and is is like cohesively designed to do certain things. You know, like like just tacking on features doesn't help anyone. I don't think it just makes the project more confusing. Uh, and and like y if you want to add something, you need to think about how how that fits into what's there already. Uh, yeah. Yeah, I agree with you. I'm trying. I I would love to simplify even more. You know, yeah. I I just I would love to simplify even more. I agree. I think. Uh, oh, he he was saying that there are a lot of people that aren't that familiar with with the internet and with complicated interfaces, um, and they want to do very simple things. And OpenStreetMap is is one way that they can do that. And and those people uh, should should be taken into con uh, consideration. So. <clears throat> Uh, yeah. I mean, I think in general with with online communities, like a lot of a lot of the reason why people people are involved is like for status, you know, is and you want to be able to show off. Um, I think like really okay, yeah. But I, I think that all right. Maybe you don't want them to be doing it for that reason, but I think that's why they are. Yeah. Um, yeah. Thank, thanks. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you. Um, any more questions or? Um, we'll find out tomorrow uh, at the at the BOF. Otherwise, there's a there's a, a hack thing going on on Monday, and I'm hoping to start on some of this stuff right away. So yeah. I also love the new design. I also want you to take Aaron's comment about leaderboards and why people participate very seriously. Okay.
Yeah, no, I, I know that that's a, it's a complicated topic. Yeah, that's really interesting. So, yeah. <coughs> um, yeah. Yeah, yeah, totally. I mean, I haven't really been iterating much, you know. I kind of did, kind of took, looked at the problem and came up with one solution. So I think you're right. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah. Okay. I think, am I, I don't, I had no idea how much time I took, so I, okay. Yeah. All right.